G'day, Russ here from Prime Motion Training. If you're preparing yourself for the Victoria Police Entrance Exam, no doubt you'll be well aware that one of the components that makes up the exam is the numerical reasoning section. Probably the least popular section of all of those components that make up the exam. Now, there's a particular question in one of ACE's practice booklets that I'd like to take you through in a little example here. You might be aware that ACE conducts the exams on Victoria Police's behalf and they've got a couple of documentations or publications that they've put out. One is titled Victoria Police Recruitment, Practice Reasoning Tests, and they've recently uh, re released a new version that's called Practice Now, which is actually very comprehensive and certainly for a police applicant looking to sit the exam, you should familiarise yourself with that document. So going back to the Practice Reasoning Tests, one of the numerical reasoning practice uh, tests has a question in relation to working out how many uh, scoops of ice cream there might be out of a particular um, tub of ice cream. And it's actually question number 28 in this practice uh, exam. And I want to take you through the workings out for this particular question. It was a request that I had from one of my members, so I thought I'd share a video with everyone so we can all benefit from it. All right, so let's have a look at the question now. So it's number 28, and it says, from a five litre tub of ice cream, a vendor sells 24 individual scoops and eight double scoops of ice cream. So what volume of ice cream on average is in one scoop? Okay, so let's have a look at that and we'll go through it together. All right, so we know that we've got five liters of ice cream. We know from the question that there were 24 single scoops that need to come out of that, and there was also eight double scoops. And once we've got the total number of individual scoops, we can then divide that back into the larger number. Now, these were singles, but the doubles were only eight. Keep in mind that they're doubles. So you may miss a little step here and, not, and, and maybe forget that you need to multiply this by two because, of course, there are two scoops in a double cone. And I don't mind ice cream, I've got to say. Okay, so now I know that I've got four, uh, so 24 and 16. So 24 plus 16 is now going to give me 40, 40 individual scoops of ice cream. Okay, so now that I know how many individual scoops, I can divide that into the total. Now, immediately I can see that I'm not going to be able to divide 40 into 5. And we're talking about 5 litres, but of course... We can convert that to millilitres, which would give us 5,000 millilitres. Okay? And it's just a different unit of measurement, but it doesn't change the value. So now I can set up my equation over here, 40 into 5,000, okay? like so. Now, whenever you've got a situation like this, there's no reason why you can't you know, cross off one zero on this side. As long as you do the same on this side, you haven't changed the value of the equation. And so now my sum can end up a little smaller and a little bit easier to work with. So now it could be 4 into 500 rather than 40 into 5,000. So here's the equation now that I need to work through. And now it's simply a matter of going through some long division. And maybe in a separate video I'll do a long division example. Um, but let's whiz through it now so you understand the process for this particular question. All right, I'm going to put 4 into 5 to begin with. That'll happen once. 1 times 4 is 4. When I take the 4 from the 5, I'm left with 1, and I bring down the next number. Now my equation is 4 into 10. 4, 8, 12. Well, it won't go 3 times. 4, 8. It will go twice. Okay, 2 times 4 is 8. And when I take the 8 from the 10, I'm left with 2. Okay, now I need to ask how many times does 4 go into 2? Well, it's not going to, so I need to bring down the next number. Now my question is, how many times will 4 go into 20? 5 4s equal 20, so I know that it's going to go in 5 times. 5 times 4 is 20. When I take 20 from 20, I'm left with 0. There's nothing else to bring down. 0. That's the end of the road for me now, and I'm left with my answer here of 125. So if we go back to the question, I'll just grab the booklet here. What, is, uh, what volume of ice cream on average is in one scoop? Or well, what volume it would be 125, but important to keep in mind what measurement we're talking about, 125 millilitres of ice cream. 
Well, there you go. So that's question number 28 from the ASA practice reasoning questions in, in the numerical reasoning section. I hope you found that helpful. Uh, if you're not so sure about the long division here, I'll put uh, a separate video, I think, up for long division to help you work through that process if it's something that you're not sure about. All right, well, I hope you found that helpful. Keep, keep your foot on the gas. Keep working hard for your uh, preparation in terms of your exam. Really important to get off to a good start. If I can help you with it, obviously come and see us over at Prime Motion Training. All right, good luck with your entrance exam. Thank you.